Hey guys, Rob again here, Quad Logic. So today we want to talk a little bit about some temperature sensors. Um, a lot of our customers have been somewhat confused as to uh, the different types of sensors, their functions, and how to troubleshoot their cooling system issues. So first we just kind of want to explain, show you on the machine where they're at and explain their differences in function. Uh, this machine is a 2003, I believe, Sportsman 400. Uh, the 400-500 motor, essentially the same from 96 through 2013 or so. Um, there's two main sensors in the cooling system in here. Uh, this is the hot temp light switch sensor, and this is the cooling fan sensor. Now the hot temp sensor is actually mounted on the cylinder. It's going to be right here. So it'll be on the left side of the machine, just above the oil filter. Um, and it simply screws into the cylinder. And what it does, it monitors the, the coolant temperature and will kick on the hot temp light if the temperature raises too high. So if you're having an issue with the hot temp light coming on when, when really the system's functioning normally, it's more than likely this sensor. So I'll, to replace it, it's very simple. Just drain your coolant, unscrew the sensor. It's just one male connector unplug it, plug, screw it in, plug it in, refill with coolant, bleed it out, you're good to go. Now, the other sensor is actually mounted inside the radiator and we'll show you that next. All right, we're now on the other side of the machine. We've turned the machine around. Um, this other sensor is located on the bottom side, right side of the radiator on this machine. Now, this is a sensor that controls the cooling fan operation. So if your fan is always running or you can't get your fan to turn on, this is more than likely the problem. So you simply just have to jack it up, take the tire off, drain the coolant, and then the sensor you'll see is located right down here on the bottom of this machine. Drain it out, replace it, plug it back in. This is a two wire unit and you should be back in business. It's a relatively inexpensive and easy fix to get your cooling system working properly again. Now depending on your year, make, and model, it won't necessarily be on the bottom right hand side of the radiator. It could be on the top in the center. The early 96 through 2000s had them up in the middle of the radiator. And then in about 2001 they went to the bottom right hand side of the radiator. So just look on the radiator no matter what machine you have and there should be a temp sensor in there and, and that'll be what needs to be replaced. One thing to take note when ordering your replacement part, if you're replacing this sensor, is there are at least two different sensors. There's a single wire version, which is the most common, uh, pretty much all the carbureted models, I think maybe a couple EFI models, and then a two wire version, which is only on a few years of the 500 EFI. So make sure to check whether you have the one or two wire model before ordering or just go right to our website. The applications are correct at quad-logic.com.